My most watched video on YouTube is titled Multi-Camera Stream, where I share how to use an incognito tab to bring in another camera into the StreamYard studio. I've even redone this video to help people deal with audio feedback, and it's an awesome resource. I'm excited to share that StreamYard has just released its latest feature, bringing the ability to do a multi-camera stream natively inside the studio. Let's get into it. I'm Kirk Nugent, your live video coach, and on this channel, I show you how to use live streaming to grow and engage an audience, funnel clients to your business, or establish yourself as a thought leader. And today, we're looking at how to do a multi-camera stream with StreamYard. So here we are in the studio, and the place that you want to go to to be able to add an additional camera is under the share feature. But before we do that, I want you to see that I have a camera in the studio already right here in the corner. You can see I already have my camera added. So that camera is already there. And so the normal, usual everyday process that you would pick uh, to be able to select your camera is the normal process you would do for that to add an additional camera. That's what I want to share here is that we're adding an additional camera. So this camera is already in the studio and we can see that here. Now we're going to add an additional camera by going right here to the share button. I'm going to zoom in on that real quick. This share button right here. Ah, that one right there. That's where we want to go. We're going to click on that and you can see extra camera, extra cameras here. We're going to click on that option. And right away, it pulls my Ecamm camera. That should give you some ideas of what you could possibly do here. But I don't wanna select that one. I'm gonna select my top-down camera. So you can see that my top-down camera is here. I can, I can share that into the system. Now, that camera is here on the bottom. You can see that camera is on the bottom. And I can just simply treat it like any other camera in the system. Let's say I had a guest in the system or anything else uh, or anyone else that had connected in and their camera was in. The difference here is that this camera does not have this entity in the system does not have a mic. So it's going to utilize the microphone from the primary person or the primary camera that you have in the system. Camera one, if we will, which would be this camera over here. That'll be camera one. It's going to utilize that as the primary microphone for any others that I add. So now that I have this camera added, I'm going to just put this up on screen and you can see now I've got both the camera with my hands and then the camera where you're able to see me. So we have both of our cameras here. And so that's good. And that's pretty cool. Um, now, if we wanted to add an, another camera, you would not be able to do that with this feature so that that i just want to make sure that's clear you can only add one additional camera per person that's in the studio um you can you can come in here you, you can see already that this says stop extra camera so that's that's one piece that you want to be mindful of and we're going to get to another piece in just a second uh the other thing that we can do we can remove this from the screen of course and to come back down here click on the share again to stop the extra camera we can go in and add extra camera again but this time select a different camera maybe i want to select my background shot my, my my bts shot and add that to the stream and that that's pretty cool one of the things i would really like to see here is a way to switch between them natively um, but i'm glad that i can do this without having to open up an additional tab so we're just kind of highlighting this new feature and how you can use this but we'll probably have to come back and do something even longer to highlight you know how you would be able to do larger production type things with multiple cameras in the StreamYard studio um, I'm gonna go ahead and actually stop this camera again and in fact what I'm going to do right now is for my main camera I'm just gonna click on cam mic I'm gonna change this to one of the other cameras let's say the ZVE 10 okay so now we've got the ZVE 10 which is um, on the other side of me over there and so we're close that down and so now I have this camera in the system I can simply hit the share button go to extra camera select let's select maybe the top down shot right let's select the top down shot again add that add it to the stream and you're good to go um, the the different layouts that work with these cameras are the layouts that work with any cameras in the system so if i go to a single layout i can do right here on the you see where it says solo layout i can do a full camera switch so that is nice to be able to switch between full screen cameras uh, 
that you want in the system. You can also do the cropped look. You can do both on cropped. You can also do the regular one. That's the one we did earlier. And then you can do the make one big, make one small. And of course, you can still drag one into the other to swap them. And in case you're doing a product demo or something like that, you're doing something that requires everybody to see your hands um, prominently. But yes, these are some of the ways that you can utilize this feature um, in the system. What I've done now is I've added one of my other cameras in the system in an incognito tab as a guest. I've added it as a guest and you can see that that camera is here on the bottom and I can add that to the stream simply by doing this. Now I have three views and as the host from this vantage point, we can select solo layout and swap between the different cameras as we say fit right? That is the way that I, my, my video that has multiple views, my, the most watched video, that's the way that I have been showing you how to do this. But why I added this other view in an incognito tab is because I want you to see what the guest view looks like. And so we're going to switch over to my guest screen, which we've just done now. And so this is what the guest looks like in my guest view. You can see here, it says you're in the show. Everyone can see and hear you. You can tell this is not the, the host features that you're seeing on the bottom here. And so in my guest, I have simply selected my background shot, which is this one. But you also notice here that under share, I do not have the ability to share an additional camera as a guest. You don't have the ability to share an additional camera as a guest. You can share slides, you can share a video file, but you cannot share an additional camera as a guest. So I wanted to make sure you saw that part as well. So as we switch back over to the host view where you have all the controls, functions and features of the system, all the different layouts, um, we can set it up like this where we have all three cameras on screen. And again, you can see my hand, you can see my side, you can see behind me and you can see, you know, OK, this, this could be cool in terms of making those switches between um, cameras from a multi camera shoot from a multi camera stream. But you can also take advantage of having one big and the other two small to provide like a focal point for your audience to view. And then you can just drag them as I'm showing I'm just clicking on the one and dragging it into the spot to make that the primary camera. Really great feature excited that StreamYard has given this to us. Multiple cameras can be used for product demos on Amazon Live, enables you to do a stream with two people, two cameras connected to one computer, which my wife and I do often, and also allow you to give your audience a different view of you or your studio, which is a tried and true broadcast technique used to hold the attention of the audience since your eyes have to adjust whenever you switch cameras. So I encourage you to utilize this where possible in your streams. In the future, I hope we get a hotkey to switch between cameras. I can only imagine this has to be in the works already. Very interested in how you will use this feature in your live streams. So let me know in the comments below and be sure to subscribe so you get notified when we have new content available. As always, it's your boy Kirk Nugent, the Geek Speaker Preacher, hoping that somewhere in the video today we got you a little closer to figuring out how it all works. And we'll see you guys in the next video. Later.